In part one of this episode, Chia Li Wei from Intel shared with us her personal journey of driving diversity and inclusion through initiatives such as the Women at Intel Network, WIN, and the Intel Disability and Accessibility Network, IDAN. Please check out part one if you haven't done so already, as it provides the context to Li Wei sharing in part two about sustaining DNI as a culture. More companies are trying to embrace better diversity and inclusion, but many struggle to make real progress. We find out more about how Li Wei navigates these challenges. Of course, when I joined DNI, the I have a you know imagined a lot of challenges, right? Uh, one of the biggest one actually, I was very mindful is oh, the, the senior leaders are going to push back mm -hmm. and say, you know, we are all inclusive, we don't need this, right? But it turned out that a lot of the leaders are aware. They are mindful. They know that there's a gap. They want to work on it. But because they, you know, didn't have the know-how, it turned out my biggest challenge actually is about helping not just the managers but everybody in the company to be mindful mm -hmm. of our unconscious bias in mm -hmm. our day to day. Because you know we are all conditioned. We all come from different cultures. You are brought up differently by different family. But unless you are mindful to see, okay, should I stop and ask what is Jeff's opinion, what his thoughts are, and or why is he doing it, so that I can learn, mm. and then we can collaborate. Is when you talk about diversity inclusion, it's really about including everybody's different opinions together and make a better one. One example I can give you would be a simple one is a manager who's hiring, right? They have a rec, uh, requisitions, they want to hire somebody in. They have to hire like within a month. So they're pressing for time. They bring in all the candidates and then they have a panel of interviewers. And guess what? Most of the interviewers could be men. It could be all men. But the candidate is a woman. And if you have that kind of situation, the woman candidate, it's going to feel like, hmm, you know, if there's no senior women in this group can i eventually become one right is that going to be a role model for me and the candidate may or may not want to take the job mm. but if you just switch it and have have a few of the senior leaders or, or interviewers have women interviewers in there then first of all you project that the company is serious about diversity and inclusion you have different role models that would be interested in listening to different perspectives and also help build that inclusive uh, culture. Diversity and inclusion have never been more of a priority in the workplace than they are today, and Intel understands that successful DNI initiatives should be sustainable. How do they create sustainable success for DNI? In the past, I always have people coming to me and say, "Oh, if the company doesn't have enough budget, we cannot do DNI." And what I realized is not about the budget. It's about getting the leaders involved. If you want to start on doing DNI for your company, get a few leaders in the company to partner with you. If they buy in, if they say, "Oh, great, wonderful idea," go do it. Don't just take their word for it. Get their involvement. They need to speak up in their site management meeting or you know when you bring up the ideas you want them to second that idea so get their personal involvement second is get them to have put some budget away to help you with that and then of course the third one to give you some resources if not as a start because you are alone you need to have some money you need to have some uh, you know human resources. power to go get it working yeah. so get the leaders you need to hold them accountable so if you start with that, then chances of you, you know, picking up and and successful is higher. But if you just go at it alone uh, and trying to force it through and says, oh, uh, there is a regulations in the in the country or whatever, you would always have that pushback from them. People will because of their unconscious bias, right? They will push back using various reasons. So. I would suggest don't don't go head to head with people. Just talk to them, get their buy in, and then get them to put a stake on the ground. That's great advice. So don't go it alone, and get the leaders involved, get their buy in, their accountability, um, and at the same time make sure they 
walk the walk and not just talk the talk, right? I hope those who are watching this video would pick up a few nuggets here and there for my sharing. And my hope is we could build a stronger diversity and inclusion uh, community in the industry. That's fantastic. Well, I wish you every success. It's been a real pleasure talking to you on our show today. We hope to have you on Culture Matters again some other time and uh, wish you all the best in the meantime. Thanks again, Liwei. Thank you, Jeff.